Galaxy College, keep shining. This is Students, Students Week of Devotion 2023 with the theme, Love is a Verb. We are now on our day three and today's sermons are Love is to Forgive, led by Miss Ellen Rose Villardo, the Adventist Student Association President. And to Love is to Obey by Miss Suarez Shin Sinilong, the Student Peer Facilitator Organization President. Sometimes it's easier to forgive when the offender acknowledges their mistakes. This kind of condition is not always met naman, di ba? Because even though you wanted to talk about it, it doesn't always mean that the other party wants to. If the offender is not willing, that doesn't mean nga we cannot move on to our destination, which is to forgive. Because forgiveness is a transformation that is internal and it's not influenced by the offender's thoughts or deeds. Personally, I find it hard to forgive, sa true lang. Especially when it changes you into a person you weren't before the pain. But if we surrender our pain to God and pray constantly to let Him totally heal us, total forgiveness will just flow through us. All things are possible with Him. So my favorite topic is the love is to forgive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiving. So as His servant, it is only right that we forgive one another, uh, even those who caused us harm. So I'm encouraging everyone to ask for forgiveness and also forgive those who ask for forgiveness. We should love and forgive each other because to love is to forgive. Jazakallah khairan. Forgiveness is not just about um, letting go of um, resentment or anger. Forgiveness is a rigorous thing to do, thinking that, um, that the person who have induced pain or makes us expect things or simply those who have, who have broken their promises to us, um, could have done or will have done the same thing again. But as we cling or as we hold on to these uh, miseries and tragedies, the more it gets painful and damaging within. The reason why there's a need for us to forgive. And we should always remember for us to be forgiven, we should learn how to forgive. For us to be loved, we have to learn how to love. That's why uh, forgiveness and love should always come hand in hand. To love is to obey. So, kana lang nga phrase, may bala na to nga. Kung maghigug maka, mo patuota. Just like to our parents. If we love them, we obey their teachings. And it's a story in the rich young man na he, he claimed he obeyed God. But after giving on ni Jesus nga, ibilin tanan ni mo kamabtangan, then mo sunod sa ako. Dito na dayo na test ang love daw sa rich young man, which is wala niya natuman. According ta, sa Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 38, we must love the Lord our God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and most important commandment, which is wala natuman sa rich young man. Just like us, kana applicable ko na sa ato, ah. If you love God, Way bigger. Love has no grudges and love means obedience. As first Peter 4 8 says, Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. And for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. First John 5 8. And with that, thank you for reflecting with us. I am Shikaina Bliss Dote. And I am Insana Makataman. This, this is Spectrum, diverse in color, united in honor. honor.